Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we're working on Module 5, Lesson 2, and this time we're decomposing fractions um, in terms of unit fractions, and we're going to use tape diagrams to accomplish that. So let's take a look at a couple of problems from tonight's homework to try to get you going. Take a look at problem number one here in the homework. Problem number one asks us to do a couple of things. Step one, draw and shade a tape diagram of the given fraction. And step number two, record the decomposition as the sum of unit fractions. And then step three, record the decomposition of the fraction in two more ways. The first one has been done for you. So let's see what they did in 1a and see if we can make sense of this. So in 1a we're asked to draw 5 sixths. So they went ahead with their tape diagram and they drew one, a bar, to represent one. Let's see, we're working with six, so they divided this up into six parts. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six parts, right? And then they shaded in five of them. One, two, three, four, five. And this shows us five sixths. Five of the units, and the units are sixths. And then what, how do they write out their sentences? Well, let's see, they did one over here, which is they wrote it up as unit fractions. So they said five sixths is the same as one sixth right here plus one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth. And then in step three, they're asked to record the decomposition of the fraction in two more ways. So they said, well, five sixths, you could do that in other ways. You could say it's like two sixths plus two sixths plus one more sixth. And then finally, they did it one other way, which they said, well, five sixths, it's also the same as one sixth plus four sixths is five sixths. All right, well, they've done the first one for us. So let's see if we can do the second one. The second one, B, says we are going to do the same thing for 6 eighths. All right, we've got our challenge. Let's see. First, we're going to draw a tape diagram of eighths. Let's see. So we know the whole diagram is 1, and we need to divide it into eighths. Let's see. Divide it by half, and then by quarters. There we go. I think that's eight. So let me see. Let me count that out. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And how many of those eighths do we need to go ahead and shade in? Let's see. We need to, to shade in six of the eighths. So let me just go ahead and shade that in. There we go. Awesome. Now we need to express our fraction, six eighths. Six eighths. We need to express it in terms of unit fractions. So that just means adding up all of the units we've got. This time we're working in eighths. So let's see, we need that's the same as one eighth plus one more eighth plus one more eighth. And we need to do this four, five, six times. Six times. Let me see if we got that right. That's one, two, three, four, five, six eighths. Awesome. Let's see if we can express that another way. What if we said we had six eighths? Well, let's see. We could say that that's the same as, I don't know, let's see. How about 3 eighths plus 3 more eighths? 3 eighths plus 3 more eighths. Did that work? 3 eighths plus 3 more eighths. Done. Good. What's another way we could describe 6 eighths? 6 eighths is the same as, let's see, how about 2 plus 1 plus 3? Right? Two eighths plus one eighth plus three eighths. I think that would work too, right? Two eighths plus one eighth plus plus three eighths. Awesome. Looks like we've done what we wanted to do, right? We have drawn and shaded a tape diagram of the giving fraction. That's six eighths. We have recorded the decomposition of, as a sum of unit fractions. One eighth plus 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 one eighth. We have recorded the de decomposition of the fraction in two more ways. 3 eighths plus 3 eighths, and 2 eighths plus 1 eighth plus 3 eighths. Awesome. That looks good. A look at one from number 2. I'm going to do 2b here, but I wanted to include the directions from step from uh, number 2. Step 1. Draw and shade a tape diagram of the given fraction. Okay, that's simple enough. And then, record the decomposition of the fraction in three different ways using number sentences. Oh, boy. All right, so let's see. We've got to draw and shade a tape diagram for five fourths. Well, let's see. I always start with the unit fraction first, right? Uh, the unit 
at the single unit is 1, and see we're working in fourths, so we need to divide that 1 into 4 pieces. And then the tricky part here is we have more than 4 fourths. We have 5 fourths, so I'm going to have to draw another little bit there. I'm going to shade in the region of the given fraction. Let's see, so 5 fourths means I need to, share, sh to shade in all 5 of these boxes, right? Excellent. And that last part, right, is one fourth. So are the rest of these. And then we need to re record the decomposition of the fraction in three different ways. Well, let's see, five fourths. How could we express five fourths? Well, one way we could do it is by unit fractions, right? That's one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth, right? Five fourths. What else could we do? Let's see, five fourths. We could say that's the same as four fourths, right? That's one, two, three, four, plus one more. Okay, plus one fourth. So that's another way. Let's see, what else? Five fourths is the same as what else? Let's see, how about two fourths plus two fourths plus one fourth? Two fourths plus two fourths plus one fourth. This is where those fractions are, work just like units, right? If we have um, if we have one, two, three, four, five of the fourths here, we've got our answer. If we've got four plus one of the units, that's five fourths. There we go. If we have two plus two plus one, that's five fourths. There we go. We, in each and every case, we can mix and match those units together to get us the number of fourths that we need. In this case, five fourths. Excellent. Well, I hope you have good luck with the rest of your homework, and I'll see you the next time on Mr. Kung Has Problems.